and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Gruel Giants. That's right, we're going to be playing some Gruel Giants here to start the day off. This is best of one day Monday, as you can see up at the top. But we are going to be actually, we will be playing a best two out of three deck to start with because this is a donation deck. So we have a viewer submitted list to play some best two out of three. Hawkeye's all excited about it, as you can see. Hey, <laughs> that's not a snack. Um, maybe he's not excited about it. <laughs> it's like, don't talk for me. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're, we're going to be playing some giants. Um, of course, Throne of Eldraine added in um, Beanstalk Giant and Bone Crusher Giant, two cards that see a lot of play um, in Standard and just a, in a variety of adventure decks and just other decks in general. But that's not all. We also have Yorvo, Lord of Garenbrig, another pretty awesome giant. And rounding out our giants, we got Sunder Shaman, which is, which is a pretty good card these days with all of these artifacts and enchantments. In the format, it's a hard creature to block. You know, it can only be blocked by one by one creature, so you're usually chump blocking. And then if you if you don't block it, you get to destroy an artifact or enchantment. So that's that's the backbone of the deck. Are the giants uh, to to accompany them? We got a couple planeswalkers. We got the Anarch of Bolos that can make our giants fight smaller creatures. We got Kiora that draws cards every time that we play a giant. So that's good, getting that card advantage in there. We got a little bit of ramp with Paradise Druid. We got some removal with Domri's Ambush. And then we got our top end of the legendary artifacts. We have Ember Cleave. Putting this thing on some giants is pretty brutal. You know, like the Sunder Shaman. They can only block with one creature, so they can't gang block it. And then you put an Ember Cleave on it. That can be a lot of damage. Yorvo, Yorvo can, can just grow to be a huge creature, of course. Put an Ember Cleave on this could be a lot of damage and then obviously beanstalk giant if we have a lot of lands in play and beanstalk giant's a huge creature yeah ember cleaving that thing so big giants with swords that's what our deck's about we also got a great hinge so we can draw even more cards and gain some life too um so yeah this deck looks like it's going to be pretty sweet uh we'll see how it does our, our sideboard's pretty basic we got some more artifact and enchantment destruction with Cinder Vines and Brontodon. We got Ceratops against Counterspell decks. We got Flame Sweep against all of the little creature aggro decks. Um, and there we go. That's the sideboard. So here we go. All right. Let's play a league with it being a donation deck. We're going to try to get five wins before two losses. Play to whichever one happens first. Yeah, this is this is gonna be pretty fun. Yeah, there's no yeah, it's, that's true. There's no reach with any of these giants. None of these giants have reach. Wish there was a giant lord. Think how big a giant lord would be. All right, let's keep it. We got all green mana right now, but one red source means we could play Domri. They can add the second red source for the Sunder Shaman. But of course, the all green mana, we get to play Yorvo. What's wrong with the mic? It's distorted right now. All right, I'll unplug it and plug it back in and see if it fixes it.
Okay, so we're back to having sound. Hopefully that fixes stuff. I know there's people that, that have been commenting on YouTube about... About the mic, and I just can't figure out the... I can't figure out what to do. I know people say, like, the gain's too high. Um... But, like, where I have the gain on the actual mic is the same as what I've had it for years. And, I don't know, maybe maybe the mic's just going bad. I don't know. Um, I guess I have had this mic for, like, three years now. Yes, I do use the software to split audio channels. I do. And so, like, that's that's, like, with this software, I can't figure out how to change the gain at all. Because there's a different, you know, I have a different um, audio channel for the for the stream and for the YouTube channel. So it's not like there's just like an easy, this is your mic level kind of thing. Because it's kind of bundled together. I mean, sure, I'll try turning the game down on the mic. But usually that just means that you're going to have more trouble hearing me, is my guess. But how, how does that sound? I turned it down some. Okay, so that sounds a lot better. Okay, so I guess maybe I just need to have it at a lower setting than I've always had. Alright, so do I need to turn up... Okay, how does this sound now? I just turned up my... I don't know if, if I need to... Comp... Let's see, let's go with like this. I don't know if I need to compensate by turning up my microphone volume in just the oh how do i deal with this night pack ambusher okay so i i turned up so after turning down that gain i i turned up the um basically the ratio of of the mic to the computer sounds basically turned up the mic My opponents had a very good hand. GG. Alright, so we're bringing in all the Shifting Ceratops, and um, Domri is going to be an important card for us to have in play, so then our creature spells can't be countered after that. We may just take out Sunder Shaman. Let's probably trim. We're gonna. I'm gonna trim an ember cleave, or maybe even two. Cause like we have to have like our our creature resolve also, and then our ember cleave resolve, and then them not bounce our creature. You know, like it's just not. Like I think I want to trim these cards that don't do anything unless we have creatures in play. Basically, with ember cleave and the great henge. So we're gonna trim those. And I mean, our, our mana base is actually just just fine. Um, you know, like Paradise Paradise Druid Domri, like these these really help our mana base. You know, like we had a hand there with, with no Paradise Druids or anything. Um, and yeah, we'll we'll trim one Sunder Shaman also with bringing these Ceratops. 
because you know so we have we have 11 red sources but then we also have the beanstalk giants that that go get red so that's like 15 and then we have the paradise druids that add red so that's you know that's basically like having um 19 i mean i just i just think that that we had a game where it didn't work out for us there but i don't think that that's going to be i think that's more of the exception than than what's going to be happening most of the time Hey, Overmind. I wish I could play both of my creatures, or both of my planeswalkers. You call it anarchy. For me, it's just business as usual. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? All right, let's draw creatures. Our creatures can't be countered anymore. Hopefully, we draw them, and hopefully, they don't have Nightpack Ambusher. Uh, that's not a creature. Oh, I wish you could see your face while I'm beating you. Hey, J. Jack, Merry Christmas. Uh, nothing disgusts me more than law and order. I do have two things I wanted. I wanted to draw creatures, and I wanted my opponent to not have Nightpack Ambusher. Unfortunately, I did not draw creatures, and they have Nightpack Ambusher. So this is just worst-case scenario. I mean, I, I want to save the Domri's... I mean, I'd like to Domri's Ambush this Ambusher. But I don't think we should let the... Domri die? I mean, hmm. This is such a, t such a tough call. Yay. Busted heads is my bread and butter. I want to make sure to play. I want to play around Quench. And untap first. Obviously, they have another counter spell. I have the ambush. The other one. Alright, this is looking good. 
Hmm. I wish I could untap the Ceratops, but it's pro blue, so I can't. Yeah, I don't know. I, I probably should not have even attacked the... I don't know what to what to do here. I probably should not have even just fought with the Domri. I was planning on attacking kind of when I fought the Domri, but then thought better of that. Just need to draw creatures. We boarded in three creatures, you know, like we boarded in the, the four Ceratops and we took out one Sunder Shaman. So we have three more creatures than what we normally do in our deck currently. We've had some really terrible land luck these two games. I don't think the cure is necessarily hard to get going. We've drawn one creature. I guess we've drawn a Paradise Druid also. We've just drawn one in 16 cards. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to draw more than one. They're just, they're just gonna win because they're just gonna have more spells over time. Now I'm salty. Like they're they just have time to play all their their stuff. Or I have nothing over here.
Well. Not much to do there. We had we had our engine cards in play too, just didn't didn't draw any creatures. The real question is whether or not to play Paradise Druid on turn two. It seems like playing the Paradise Druid on turn two is the obvious thing that we should definitely do. But maybe if we play it on turn four, we put the counter on Yorvo. We're not going to be adding any... Oh. Okay. No, I'm, I'm gonna play it though. <sighs> like we're not adding mana with it on turn three, but we're gonna want to add mana with it on turn four. Hey, Dejums. I don't know if we're just playing against... I mean, it looks like we may, may have just got paired up against a beginner here. That would kind of be my guess. So lead with Kiora so we draw a card off of Yorvo. why I'm killing this sorrow form hybrid but we are oh I wish you could see your face when I've been here great hand We get to draw two cards with playing this. And then the, the neat thing here is... Sorry, the neat thing here is Kiora can untap the Great Henge to be able to add even more mana. We don't really need to do that, but... That is a cool thing that we could do. Yeah, I wish, I wish we would have had a, a hand like this last match. Yeah, tar targeting my Bone Crusher Giant with the Ambush would do two damage to me. Because um, I think it's just spells, right? Yeah, so it's just spells. So yeah, if, if you Ambush the Bone Crusher Giant, you take two. But you can untap the Bone Crusher Giant with Kiora. Or you can have it fight with Domri, like those kind of things, just fine. Yeah, I, I think this is a pre-con deck. I 
Oh, they, they let me go first. Yeah, the, the uh, those names with the decks like Rakdos, those are names for the colors. Um, yeah, like this is a Gruel. Gruel means red and green, so like that's why this is called a Gruel because it has red and green in it. Rakdos means red and black. Those are names of guilds, um, and yeah. Yeah, that's a that's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, you can Google MTG guilds and learn about more about all of them. Doesn't make a ton of sense to play Domri out here just to have it die. So we'll be able to cast the Beanstalk Giant next turn because Castle will add six here. So we had six, but this costs seven. So we'll be casting our seven mana card on turn five. But... So this thing can spend five mana to proliferate. Hey, Higo, what's up? How are you enjoying Magic the Gathering Arena so far? We'll be able to take out the Skydivers next turn. And now they add extra counters. See, that's good. That's good deck building. Two mana, put two counters on creatures, draw a card. Is a strong card. I'm gonna take out this Biomancer's familiar just because it's a 4-4. Four, four. We'll let them keep the 1-1 one, one that That's the sound and of course we'll probably just Coming get rid of our Domri. But the Beanstalk Giant can race a 1-1. One, one. I don't know. I don't know who the the guild leader is of Gruul right now. Samit? Probably not Samit. Nikia of the old ways. That makes sense. Nikia. Q. 
Kiora, what are you doing here? I was planning on on uh, fertile footsteps in as well, but I think we'll just. We'll just play Kiora, because I just can't kelp myself. And having a planeswalker in hand. Shark to crab. I could untap the Beanstalk Giant by minusing the Kiora. There's not really a reason to, though. Let's keep Kiora at 6 loyalty. <laughs> I don't think Oko is going to become the new guild pact. Yeah, I mean that's this is just what I got paired against. And like we're playing a gold event, like where we spent a thousand gold to enter and we're winning gold. Sometimes you just get paired against something like this. It happens. They have to chump block the ten ten anyway, so we might as well put the counter on the Paradise Druid so that we do an extra point of damage to them. It doesn't really matter if they have a 6-6 chump blocking or a 1-1 chump blocking. They're chump blocking. So this had sped up my clock. They were at seven, so now Paradise Druid kills them next turn. All right, we're one and one. <laughs> okay. We have a we have a different looking hand than what we've had recently. We got some Bone Crusher Giant, some Sunder Shaman. It's not just a ton of lands, or only green lands. Have a nice mix. All right, against Basic Mountain, I think we need to save Bone Crusher Giant to kill something. There we go, there's something to kill.
these guys. These four threes. All right, gain a life. Thicket Crasher. Tread too hard in the forest and it will tread on you in return. Ooh, we got a 1-2 a trample and a 1-1 one, one trample. You don't see those too often. Now they're eight power tramplers. Ronus is good. I think I may take out one Ember Cleave for a flame sweep. If I'm seeming to have a good amount of small creatures. It's not something I want like a ton of. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll we'll play one. All right, three lands. Perfect. We have turn three Sunder Shaman and Fertile Footsteps can get us another land if need be. Right now, that flame sweep would look better as an Umber Cleave. We'll see what happens here, though. If they catch you. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know about this. I, I should probably just be fighting. Because I guess now I'm not attacking. Alright, I probably should have just fought the Leaf King Druid, I guess. I want to save it and fight the next turn. I want to fight this next turn. Hey, Frizzer. Flame sweep's now looking very good. I'm 
sorry. Were you doing something? All right, I think that worked out. Yep. Looks like it worked out. I'm going to play a second flame sweep over a Domri. Game three. Let's go. Thank you, Paradise Druid, for being awesome. Adding red mana. Also, never dying. I can play next turn I can play Domri and tick up and have Domri add red mana and then Bone Crusher Giant something. I guess the Cloud can Seer. You'd have right now on board three damage at I, mean, I guess I could do the same thing with Kiora also. Cures minus adds red mana also by untapping Paradise Druid. No respect for Kiora. All right, well, I'm killing her as a reef then. <laughs> Sorry, Dejums. You call it anarchy. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> Thunder can awaken her. That card's good. That card gets Risen Reef back. I really don't think we need to attack. Like with with Kiora, we're going to be winning a longer game, and you know, like we have these Thunder Shamans and everything. 
I think the only way we lose this is we get get punked out by attacker somehow. Um, you know, they could have you know, like the four mana thing that makes a whole bunch of like one one haste and stuff. Or yeah, they would kill my one blocker. All right, more red mana. Hmm. Let's keep this madness in the right. How about it, boy? The ocean surges, life thrives. So with casting the Fertile Footsteps to get another land in play, then I wasn't able to go Sunder Shaman plus Domri to have Sunder Shaman fight the Omnath. Right now, all that means they just put a counter on the Omnath, which fighting would still take this thing out. So wild beasts are bringing your comeuppance. All right, our deck's doing what it's supposed to do. Kiora's being awesome, drawing us a bunch of cards. We got a bunch of giants, and we're just stomping the smaller creatures of the opponent. So exactly what we're supposed to do. Hey, Star Man, it's going good. with animals my entire life explains a lot actually this isn't gonna work all right whatever Once we start rolling, this deck's pretty sweet. I love to make a splash. All right. Giant Stompy. And we're up to two and one. So is, is the volume still good with the mic, even though you know I, I adjusted the gain on it? Is the volume still good and everything? Good? Cool. <clears throat> awesome. Lord of Garenbrig. Looks 
so big. A giant noble. No flavor text? Sunder Shaman has good flavor text. You take our wilds, we take your city. I guess... Alright, so obviously I was planning on playing Sunder Shaman, but I guess Chandra Spitfire is a scary enough card that I need to just kill it. When I'm finished here, there'll be nothing left but dust. Giant smash. Right, row. Brand's a big rut row. I think that's a pretty good trade for me. If I attack, we die. If they have the the slaying fire, three man deal four. All right, because I can I can block the bone crusher giants. I don't know what to do. I think we force them to have slaying fire. I believe they have slaying fire. We were like. We were, we were just dead last turn if they had Slaying Fire. If they don't play Bone Crusher Giant, they would just play Slaying Fire plus that shock at me, and we were just taking lethal, actually. <laughs> yeah, Sunder Shaman, it's like this guy screaming. Giant screams. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, I could have... Could have killed them. We can't expect to draw another Bone Crusher Giant there, though, right? All right, so this is probably a pretty good matchup for Flame Sweep. Do have to be worried about Chandra's Spitfire. I don't think we're supposed to take out creatures. It does kind of seem like 15 or 15 big creatures. Maybe we need more giants. Just in general.
I think it's Domri, Kiora, and Ember Cleave, I think, are the, the three cards. Like, I think those are probably the three least valuable cards. I think I want to keep all this stuff. Definitely cutting at least one Ember Cleave. I think maybe we just take out all the Ember Cleaves, honestly, with Flame Sweeps that that kill the creatures that they would be chump blocking with anyway. I think I just do that. Um, I guess we can also play Bronson. Gives me less removal for. Also play some Bronsodons to destroy um, their two mana enchantment. Cutting some more of those Planeswalkers. Gives me, like, Domri, Domri's removal for Torbran and Spitfire. and jam over there. Hmm. I guess I need to just bone crusher giant this thing on my turn. Might as well just take this extra one now, see if we want to Bone Crusher Giant something else. Nope. So basically the problem with Bone Crusher Giant the the problem with stopping this before um before it attacked is they could just sacrifice it to gain three life and then my Bone Crusher Giant uh fizzles and then it's gone. So I should have just done it on my turn. So if this deals damage to them, I get to destroy an artifact or an enchantment that they control. That seems pretty good. Oh, I look forward to seeing you. <laughs> That's the sound of a stampede coming straight at ya. Sunder Shaman. That is a giant problem for my opponent right there. That's the first time you've ever seen Sunder Shaman destroy something? We've destroyed something before with Sunder Shaman. I don't remember what. Like, like a food token. Oh, have at it, boys. I really should have done red, and so I had an extra red to play a Bone Crusher Giant. Now I'm just playing Lebrontodon. So that one Sunder Shaman killed a Cavalcade, a Shock, a Torbran, and it also fought a Torbran. That's a lot of stuff. Dragons, Leviathans, Octopuses, Serpents. Nature flows with vigor.
Alright, we don't really have lethal anyway. We won't exit all the guilds. Anyway. Okay, we're three and one. We've beaten up on these small creature decks. Our giants are too big. <laughs> Sunder Shaman needs trample also. I mean, it can already only be blocked by one creature. GG's. Yeah, it is best of one day Monday, but we have a best of three donation deck first. So that's what we're doing here with the donation deck. All the rest of the decks that we're going to be playing today, we'll be playing at best of, best of one with. <laughs> no, we've not faced any Realm Club Giants yet. No, we just faced three small creature decks and then uh, Simic Flash. Simic Flash was the one that defeated us, especially because of our ridiculous mana situations. Both games, we didn't really play much magic. So I'm thinking play play Beanstalk Giant this turn. The next turn I can play Kiora plus Yorvo. I could instead do Yorvo this turn, and then next turn Kiora plus Ambush or Beanstalk Giant plus Ambush. Yeah, so I could, yeah, I could Yorvo ambush next turn. I think it's better to just make sure that we draw a card with Kiora. They're already unloading all their elementals anyway. Because we really have nothing else going on. Oh my gosh. Well. That was not good. That was not ideal. I I don't, Tego. No, I, I don't. NRA86 with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, get those Nessas out of here. Why do we draw all of our lands against the Simic decks? I don't think we've drawn a spell this game, have we? Like, didn't I just keep this like four, like three lands and like these four spells? Something close to that, at least. Alright, so both their finale of devastations are in the graveyard. Oh. 
So if I kill a Cavalier of Thorn, they get to draw Finale of Devastation. So I think this game is just over. Because I, I can't just simply not kill a Cavalier of Thorn. Oh, they're described to the top also? That's cool. I don't know if we can beat Cavalier of Thorn. We don't have anything to like. Yeah, this this seems like a not a good matchup for us. I don't. I mean, I guess like I, I guess we need to try to get like our giants out there with Ember Cleave. I guess um, if none of these are doing anything. Yeah, they're just going, they just go bigger than us. But it wouldn't be a match against Simic if we didn't have awful mana, though. That's the easy one. Uh, sorry, Snakes Burr. Uh, the, if you click on the channel points, it shows the rewards. It's basically about emotes and stuff. Alright, so we want to draw a land here, then we can place Under Shaman also. Not a good chance that we're winning this. I think we found that Nissa's a little stronger than Giants. Unfortunately. I think something we've can safely say after a few games. 
of losing to Nyssa. How could we have played both both of these if I would have played Sunder first? How would that make like it would have spent four mana on Sunder, and then we still just untap one land. Why do they have to have triple Cavalier of Thorns every time? The single hardest card for me to beat. Sure, just go ahead and have more. Why not? They're, they're playing Simic Ramp. That's the name of their deck. Let's get moving. You can't, you can't, you just can't really go bigger than, than Simic. That's the biggest deck in the format. Our giant deck is designed to go bigger than other decks, and against the small creature decks, we did a good job of that. But against the Simic decks, Nissa. Nope. No can do. Um, unfortunately, we never got to have a giant with a number cleave. Unfortunately. We have both Simic Ramp and Simic um, Flash. You know, like those are two very, very good tier one decks, and we just kind of saw the power level difference between our our cute uh, giant tribal deck and theirs. Like, there's just not much to do there. Um, but yeah, we never got to Ember Cleave anything, unfortunately. Wanted to have a, a big Yorvo or Beanstalk Giant and them trying to block with like a Cauldron Familiar and then we Ember Cleave it for a whole bunch of damage. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, like Realm Cloak Giant. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah, that's that's the answer there to, to Nyssa and, and stuff was trying to play Realm Cloak Giants. If you play white, though, you don't get to play Yorvo. I don't think you can play Yorvo and play three colors. So if you if you go Naya Giants and play Realm Cloak, you wouldn't be able to play um, Yorvo, and so and so I, I don't know if there's like enough real good Giants. Then you know then it makes casting Sunder Shaman super hard. You know you can have the Rampart Smasher, but it's just a pretty big downgrade on Sunder Shaman, and that would still be pretty difficult to cast. I think, I don't think that, while Realm Cloak Giant's kind of an answer there, I don't think it really is because of how poor the mana would be and how difficult it would be. Um... But there we go. So that's Gruel Giants. We got to do a lot of cool stuff with Kiora. We got to see Kiora look pretty good and draw a lot of cards for us. Um, Sunder Shaman looked really nice against the red deck. But unfortunately, Ember Cleave and Great Henge, we didn't get to do very much with those cool legendary artifacts there. Um, okay, so you expected an O2, so you're glad we at least got this much. Yeah, there we go. So we at least we put together some wins. 
So that's good there. Um, all right, uh, those of y'all on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave some comments about gruel giants here. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.